Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Leaf's Animal Farm. My name is Leaf, and thank you guys so much for stopping in once again to check on little old me. So, I was a dummy. I was a complete idiot. I was sitting here talking to myself. I was recording my audio, and I never hit record on the gameplay. So, <laughs> we just missed an entire episode of Leaf's Animal Farm, but... I figure this might as well be a good enough excuse to go on a little tour because I was going to show off what I did in the meantime anyways. But yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. So let's just stop right in our little staff facility. It's nothing too crazy. I have like the trade center right here. I have uh, research over here. And I have all the essentials that we need to keep all of our staff very happy. I have a little break room in here, which our mechanic is taking a little, taking a little nap in. I have the animal vet in here, but yeah, that's pretty much it for, you know, all the backstage. You might start to notice some stuff over there and what I'm actually going to do. I'm actually just going to go into Tajit Cam because why not? So here we go. We're just going down the main little strip and you might notice something up there a little bit. So we're just going to stop right in here. And yeah, our pigs are nice and happy. And I actually did take out all their water and fill in like the little cave over there. They were drinking the water too much. Look at the little piglet. They were drinking the water way too much. And I was like, you know what? It's not even worth it at this point. I'm just going to let them use the, uh, whatever you call it, the drip fountain. And yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. They're, they're a lot more healthier now. I added this little elevation change, which is awesome. It helps like a lot more guests come up here. And we're just going to get up to that stuff in just a little bit. But besides that, we have our cows and chickens in this little exhibit. They seem to be doing pretty good. I just love the little chickens so much. But um, yeah, we have a little baby cow. And they're all just vibing, you know? I have the big old grain silo right there. Everyone seems to be happy. Everyone seems to be healthy. Over here, I'm pretty proud of what happened over here. This is awesome. <laughs> so I got the Alpine Goats, J2 Beck's um, original model and texture. Amazing work on that. And I still do have the Nubians in here, but you guys remember how they were having a little bit of like, I don't know, space requirement issues. Yeah, they can walk all the way up here now. And I think it's going to be awesome when we like continue on all the way over here so we can have like some guest viewing right there and we can have them peek like, down the hill. It's going to be really awesome. So going into their little exhibit, we still have some more walkthroughs. We have our little llamas and alpacas over here. They seem to be doing pretty good. No, not too many babies yet, which is kind of interesting. I think this might be a baby. I don't really know, but yeah, everyone seems to be happy there. I started to put down some like the flamingos. I was like, you know what? We still have the custom props. So I'm just going to drop them down there. <laughs> Why not? So I threw down some of those. All of our animals seem to be doing pretty happy as well. And I actually think I can do some more like enrichment for our turtles. That's perfect. Let's hit play actually. And yeah, here we have, I think it's the snakes. Oh no, it's the tree frogs. How could I forget? Yeah, I'm not really... There's one. Yeah, all the exhibit animals have been breeding like crazy. So it's really awesome to have. I think I have a blue-tongued lizard right there. He's just poking his head in the wall. And yeah, a little spiders, which, you know, I'm not really going to look for them too much because we have a lot of stuff going on. Here we have our first little plaza area. We have like... Our little wolf statue right there. We have some food and drink right there. Over here we have our little maned wolves. And yeah, they're beautiful. I love their white coats. I know it's like not the iconic orange that they're supposed to be. But no, I still love them nonetheless. So down here we also have our little red foxes. And they're happy. They seem to be vibing. I think I only have two females in here right now, which is kind of okay. It's not the best. I really do want to get some more kits in there, but we can work on that later. But yeah, just continuing on here, ignoring the broken bench. We have a lot more bison in here. We have a little baby right there too. And I actually did sneak in some more pronghorns too. Oh, he just dropped. <laughs> That's funny. 
But yeah, we have all of our happy little animals in here back in our little American prairie. So that is perfect to have. And if we continue on through here, it's going to be a little difficult trying to find this guy. But we do have the North American River Otter. And he usually just, you know, hops around this exhibit. It's kind of difficult to find him because it's pretty big. But, you know, I'm determined we can find him on this little, on this little adventure. Seems like he might be over here. Eh. Where is he? Let's take the cheap way out. Yeah, let's North American River Otter. Damn, our animals are breeding like crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, there he is. Oh my god, I love him. Jen did... I, I was saying this in the last episode too. Jen did an amazing job with the model and texture on this. It's so cute. Look at him hopping around. He's so happy. And yeah, I really do love this shade structure from the workshop. It, like, this is so perfect if you're just like sitting here and like listening to us speak about the otters. I love it. And so if we start to continue up here, we have some like backstage access right there. And we have a lot of trash actually. So I'm just gonna, oh, I'm just gonna copy one of these bad boys over here. Do it live. Why not? We're gonna drop a couple of them right down here, wherever we see the trash, because you know it's kind of gross. You know, our guests don't know how to clean up after themselves. All right. So that's perfect. Awesome. So we have a little bit of extra viewing for the cows, so we can see them outside in their little play area. No one really uses this, unfortunately. Don't really know why, because it's like probably a better view of the cows than down there. You get to see them like move around, and you can even look in the barn, which is awesome. But yeah, I feel like more people care about what's up here. We have the Malayan leaf insect. We can find a few of them. There's one right there. I know they're like all over the exhibit. But no, these guys are so cool. Look at them. I love them. They're beautiful. There's another one right there. Oh, I love them. But yeah, if we go up here, we have some underwater viewing for bears. I believe they're the North American black bear, and they're beautiful creatures. But we can stop over here. And we have a little bit of a plaza up here for food and drink, and we can actually look down into our little pig exhibit. I may throw in some, like, other farm animals they keep on escaping where are they escaping from i have no idea we're just gonna leave it pause because i don't want to listen to the ringing but yeah if we continue over here we can see our little bears there he is right there or she because i know this has been a problem i need a male for this guy <laughs> oh man but it's so beautiful look at them they're majestic that's quintessential Americana right there. I love them. Alright, so if we continue on through here, we can see our little Mexican gray wolves. And yeah, we're starting to get a nice little pack of them. Oh, they had a baby too. Oh, that's adorable. Hold on. I'm getting a picture of him. Why not? God, that's so cute. Oh my god, guys, go download this mod right now. It's so beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much all we have going on right now. I mean, it's been a long ride, you know? We, like, the last episode, I was starting to lose, like, a lot of money. We, It was quite it was quite a uh, roller coaster back there. And speaking of roller coaster, that might be kind of fun to include in here. But anyways, guys, it has been such a pleasure to have you here. I apologize that it took so long to get, like, a full tour, but I figured it's, like, episode 11. And I figured we could do this every, like, 11 episodes or so. I feel like that'd be a nice little compromise. But, yeah, guys, thank you so much for stopping in with me. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this little walkthrough. If you guys are new here, welcome to Leafs Animal Farm. I know it's a little bit of a different series. I know it's not, like, any of, like those prissy franchise mode series i'm look i'm looking at you rudy and savannah like come on guys get with the challenge mode get with the real levels you know all right no nah, i'm just kidding i love you guys all right so have a great one guys i hope you guys enjoyed this and have yeah 
I'm just repeating myself. Take care, guys. See ya.